Here's a brief demonstration of the KNB2. It's the noise blanker option for the Elecraft K2. I've had this K2 for, I think it's about three or four years now, but I only just built and installed the noise blanker option. I, you know, I, I didn't really think I'd need a noise blanker. I, I don't know why I was... I guess I was just thinking, hey, I don't operate mobile, so I don't get too much of that ignition noise. But I was ignoring the fact that quite often there's, you know, even when you're operating a, a base station at home, there are sources of spiky electrical noise, you know, on, on power line noise. You know, somebody uh, somebody might have a an appliance plugged in that's creating spikes, maybe a coffee grinder or something, I don't know. Um, but um, yes, so anyway... This is a demonstration, and I, this having this noise blanket for just a few days convinced me that uh, even people like me need noise blankers. Now, the noise blanker um, has two different settings. One is the threshold, and one is for the pulse width. Now, when you switch the rig on, the default setting of the noise blanker is for a high threshold, and that refers to the threshold at which the spike causes the noise blanker to to kick in, to trigger, and I'm actually talking about the amplitude of the noise spike. The other setting, uh, so there's low threshold and high threshold, and the default is high threshold, unless you change it. And the other setting is for the pulse width. And there's NB1 and NB2. Um, when you switch the noise blanket in, the first setting is NB1. I believe that's for a narrow pulse width, or relatively narrow. And then NB2 is for the wider pulse width. You want to avoid the wider pulse width setting unless you absolutely need it. And although I haven't experienced this yet, because I haven't used the noise blanket much, I understand that when you use the noise blanket in that second setting for the wider pulse widths, you do tend to distort the audio somewhat. Anyway, we got some rather pretty bad noise on 20 meters right now. Just started about an hour ago. In fact, it seems to come in about this time every night. It's now about 5.30 in the evening. And it's a bit worse than it was about an hour ago. So here it is. And now the noise blanket is in default setting at high threshold. Let's just switch, switch the noise blanket in. Whoa, did you hear that? That's amazing. We don't even need the second noise blanker setting. That's it. Let's cycle through to the second setting and then switch it off again. So that's with the noise blanker off. Wow. And this is with it in. That's why you need a noise blanker. Now, noise blankers don't work on all kinds of noise. They tend not to work on band noise. It's just spiky noise, any kind of electrical noise that generates sharp spikes. So let's switch it out. And let's see... Oh, see, there's noise on, 20 me on uh, 17 meters, too. So let's switch the noise blanker in. Oh, it's not working. So what we want to do, let's go to off again. Try the low threshold. That's the low threshold setting. You just uh, access it by, hold by pressing and holding the button. Now let's switch it in, switch the noise blanket in on the low threshold setting. Beautiful. And I imagine that now, and if that didn't work, the next step would be to to try Noise Blanker 2, the NB2 setting for the wider pulse widths. But that's it. So that's with it out. Oh, that's nasty, isn't it, to listen to? And this is with it in. That's why you need a Noise Blanker, folks. Thanks for watching, and I hope this brief video was uh, was informative.